How does adding more lanes cause more traffic? Take a city and a suburb. Between them is a two-lane road, a bike path, and a train line. Most people commute by bike or train. The two-lane road is jammed every day, so the city widens it to four lanes. The road is no longer jammed. Now Karen and her 50 friends can all take their kids to school by car. Now a hundred rail commuters can drive, so they aren't dependent on train schedules. Now 20 cyclists can drive because it's faster. The four-lane road becomes jammed, so the city widens it to six lanes. The road is no longer jammed. Now 20 commuters can drive at a company fuel allowance instead of riding a bike. Now a hundred rail commuters can drive, so they aren't dependent on train schedules. Now 50 high school students can drive instead of bike or train because it's faster. Due to lower ridership and revenue, the train line cuts connections. Schedules become infrequent and impractical, so 200 rail commuters switch from train to car. The six-lane road is jammed every day, so the city widens it to eight lanes. And so on until you have the KT Freeway. And this is how adding more lanes only causes more traffic.